it's a gradual process, and the insurance industry in Nigeria is making a very steady growth. If you were at the conference, we try to give some numbers to let you know that just um, as at last year, 2022, using 2022 data, the industry did about 726 billion. And that 26, that 20, uh, 27, 26 billion, they paid a claim of over 380 billion. And so the thing is that a number of people do not see, understand that insurance companies pay claim. So it is when they understand that the insurance companies pay claim that they begin to embrace insurance. So we are doing everything as an industry to increase, increase the level of insurance awareness so that people can understand that issue because that is the value we are actually selling. The service we sell is in the value of claims payment. And for instance, my company, last year, 2023, we paid a claim of over 2.5 billion. This year, just the first two months of this year, we paid a claim of over 200 million. As we speak, there's a very huge claim that was over 500 million that we are currently processing. So the point I'm making is that we want the insuring public to understand that we pay claim. And I tell people again who have a kind of negative perception about insurance that if you want to buy insurance, try and get a risk advisor within the insurance space, within that insurance company you want to buy insurance. So that in the event of claim, I keep emphasizing on claim because that is the value that people are going to get. I've met a lot of people who tell me that, okay, if I put my money in the bank, it yields interest for me. If I put my money in the capital market, it yields dividend for me, for instance. Then if I put my money in pensions, of course, I get interest. Now, if I put my money in insurance, what do I get? So that peace of mind, which you get when you buy an insurance policy, you get the value when a claim crystallizes. And that is why we're saying that claim, we pay claim. And as we continue to pay claim and continue to create the needed awareness in insurance, people gradually begin to embrace insurance. We are looking forward to a point where one of the speakers just informed us that we are projected because the industry grew at an average over the last five years of about 15%. And we are doing an extrapolation that if we get to, maybe by the time the 2024 data is out, we might get to the one trillion mark. We might get to the one trillion mark in, in, in Naira. There are a number of product offerings we are providing. So, for instance, those in import business, we have marine, marine cargo, we have marine, uh, marine hull products we are providing. For your motor, for your cars on the road, we have policies in that regard. We have other personal line products. You can even cover your building and the content inside. Then for infrastructure development, because a number of the talks were on, on infrastructure development, this year, the, 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 the budget of the country, the budget of Nigeria this year is about 27.7 uh, trillion, 28.7 trillion budget. In that budget, there is a number of infrastructure projects. Ministry of Works, they are doing a lot of infrastructure projects. And there are insurance policies that we have that we have construction orics, we have erection orics. These are products that those people can take. And when they take those policies, in the event of a claim, in the event of a loss, Insurance companies such as ours, Unit Trust, will be there to provide, to give you the cover and to indemnify you in the event of a loss. There are two types of insurance companies. You have the general insurance companies and you have the life insurance company. So our company, Unit Trust Insurance, we are in the general insurance category. But in the life category, because you ask, we don't, we don't provide life policies, but of course, there are different kinds of policies. You have group life, you have personal life, you have endowment life. Whatever amount you place on those uh, policies. So for instance, if you want to take a group life, it is dependent on the value you want as a sum insured. For instance, I belong to a group life policy. And we said, okay, we want to take a sum insured of one million. Not sum insured of one million, we calculate the premium. What that means is that in the event of the unexpected, the insurance company is going to pay you the sum assured of one million. So the, the premium is determinant on the sum assured. The premium is determinant on the sum assured. But for other classes of, uh, uh, of insurance, like your motor, the value of your vehicle, for instance, will determine the premium that we're going to charge you. So on, if, you, if you have your car, for instance, you want to insure with us, we'll charge you a flat rate based 5% based on the value of that your vehicle as against life, which like your question you asked, 
it is the value that you determine as the sum insured. So you can decide to put a value of 10 million. Another person can decide to take a value of 100 million. So we're going to charge you premium based on that value that you want. In other words, if anything happens, it is that value that you took as a sum insured that the premium is going to pay upon. Insurance is not only for the rich, and that is why we are talking about penetration. It gives a heart that looking at the huge population of Nigeria, Nigeria is estimated to have a population of over 200 million people. And this population, the penetration level like we keep emphasizing is less than 0.5%. So the bulk of the people who don't have this insurance are down there. And that is why even the regulator have come up with what micro insurance. Those, that, those micro insurance, so there are some products that the premium is as little as 500 naira. So the woman that sells pepper in Okare market, the man that repairs his bicycle in one village in Damatru, or the man that, uh, that uh, f f does fishing in his canoe in Bayalsa, Fuyenegua, for instance, there are products that are uniquely tailored to their needs under micro insurance that can help them buy insurance. So the man that is, that is maybe fish, doing fishing in Yenegua, his boat broke. If he insures that his boat, for instance, the insurance will come there for him. So it's not, we, there are even products for children that are in school. Children that are in school. So you have a product that covers children so that if there is an accident, if there is an accident for children as they play, they, they, can get, uh, they can get indemnified. There are even life products, investment-linked products under life insurance. That, so, for instance, you, you have your child, you want your child, you are saving, your child is small, is still five years old, young, and you want your child to go to university 10, 15 years from now, and you begin to put money aside by taking up that policy. God forbid, if anything were to happen to the father of that child, that policy you have taken for that child, the sum assured again is what the insurance company is going to pay to ensure that that child goes to school. So a man takes a, a policy of 10 million today for his child that's in primary school. The child is going to get to the university in the next 10 years. God forbid that man that took a policy of 10 million, something happens to him. The insurance company is going to pay him, that child, the dependent or that the beneficiary, that 10 million to ensure that that child goes to school 10 years uh, from now. So insurance is not just for the rich. There are micro products even for the poor. And you can pay a premium as little as the value of the, uh, of the sum insured. The premium will be calculated based on the sum insured. So we, we encourage everybody to come on board. Insurance, we are open to accommodate everybody. We are big enough to accommodate big corporate organizations. And we are also small enough to accommodate the little persons that does retail and micro uh, businesses. Our company, Unit Trust, is one of the leading um, general underwriters in the country. Um, we are known for prompt settlement of claims. I keep emphasizing prompt settlement of claims because when we give you a, a promise, that promise is evident when we settle claim. And I'm happy to tell you that just last year, 2023, our company, Unit Trust, paid a claim of over 2.5 billion. Within this year, this is March, between, I just looked at our numbers, between January and February end, we paid a claim of over 200 million, and that is massive. So even there is a particular claim we are paying at the moment, we are carrying it 100%, even without the reinsurers paying us, we have paid over 500 million. We, we have paid over 500 million. Our company is known for prompt uh, settlement of claim. We had a huge balance sheet size, a balance sheet size we have a balance sheet size of over 23 billion. And so in terms of profitability, we are also one of the most profitable insurance companies. So which tells you that our brand, our company is well managed. We are well managed in terms of delivering value to all key stakeholders, both to the shareholders, both to employees, and both to the insuring public in terms of their claim payment and in terms of returning dividend to the shareholders. So our brand has a win-win for the shareholders, for the employees, for the insuring public. We meet all their needs in those regards.